Many of the tube fly patterns are for streamer style flies with built up heads using lots of thread or floss. We want to achieve kind of a prominent shape. These heads are often finished with epoxies or urethanes or acrylics. I'd like to show you a couple different ways of doing this. First we've we finished off our fly and uh, you can see it's still in the vise there set on its mandrel uh, and I'm going to first uh, show you a very interesting product here this is a ultraviolet uh, fly paint uh, it's a product that's offered by Loon and we're going to uh, take and put some of this paint on here like so you can see how it's pretty thick okay and you put on a fair amount Put the cap back on that little beauty and set it aside. But I'm going to use my bodkin here and we'll very carefully work this around so we cover up all those thread wraps. See how you can work right up to the, the throat. Come around on the wing. Okay now as you turn the vise you can move that that paint as it were around pretty easily. It's very much like spinning glass okay. So you can see that as we turn this thing, it gets nice and smooth and even. Now if you were to let that just sit, it's going to glop down and make, a, make the head not very uh, attractive at all. So what we'd like to do is set that, in other words, cure it. Okay, this is an ultraviolet flashlight here. You turn that little beauty on, you can see those blue lights. Really lights up those beads, isn't that cool? Anyhow. Point this at that UV paint and it'll set that paint for us in just a few seconds. Like so. You notice we keep turning it as we're doing that. Okay, and that's about all it takes, guys. Now you look and see, and then by golly, it's, it's dry. Kind of magic. Okay, these are some glue on eyes. I take one of these little beauties. Uh, I just use my my botgun here for this. Oops. There we, there we got it. And we're going to stick one eye on this side, right about there. It kind of moved around a bit on us. Yeah, that's about right. Get another one. We we'll use our Norvice to turn it over. So we put this other eye on the other side, about like that. Press it on. Now those are just kind of lightly stuck in place and uh, we don't want those coming off of there so what we're going to do is really glue them on by putting another coat of urethane right over it. This time we're going to use a, another product. Uh, this is also a urethane and it has uh, kind of like ground up fish scales in it. It's really kind of neat. Okay. This is not uh, ultraviolet curing urethane. But what we do is we'll take and flow on a coat right over the eyes like this. This is kind of like using epoxy. And again, by rotating the vise, you can put a nice coat of top coat on it like this. And there again, if we were to let this thing set, eventually it would sag down and make a big ugly blob. So what we'll do here is we'll remove this from our Norvice and I'm going to take a toothpick. We'll stick that toothpick in the tube and then we're going to take this and put it on a dryer, a drying wheel as it were. You can see this little beauty here. You just let it be there. Give it an hour or so. When you get through that thing will be bulletproof. It's a great way to do it. It makes a really neat looking fly I think. Okay. Now let's take a look at another approach of doing a similar thing using some other products. Let's slide this uh, wheel out of the way. Just happen to have another tube fly here ready to go. Oh, there's one, just like just like the one we had. Okay, so stick our mandrel in there and place this in our vise, like so. Okay. Now see there again we're perfectly centered. This time I'm going to use a product that a friend of mine uh, makes, uh, Chris Windrum. Uh, he uh, sells these, this stuff. It's really neat. It's called uh, 
easy shape sparkle body. Uh, Chris is uh, at uh, saltwaterflies.com. You can check out his website. So we're going to take a little bit of this easy shape sparkle body and just kind of clean the tube off here a bit. Okay, and then we squirt this stuff on right out of the bottle onto the fly head, about like so. Okay, and you can see we use a fairly generous amount. Yeah, at this point, put the cap back on, set it aside. Again, we get out our our trusty little botkin here, and run that around a bit like so. Pretty neat. Okay, now if you think you got a little bit too much, like right here, you can just take some of it and wipe it off on your paper towel. It's pretty hard to guess at exactly how much you need until we get it on there. At this point, I'm going to hold my needle here and rotate this a bit. We're going to just smooth that out a bit. You don't have to be terribly fussy with this stuff. It's kind of magic. It'll sort of level itself out pretty neat. And one of the other things we can do here that's kind of fun is I'm going to use the same product. In this case, we can take a little bit of red and uh, put some out there. Oops, I guess I should put this over here where we can see it, guys. There's a little dab of this red sparkle body. And we'll put that on our botkin. And I'm going to put that as a continuation of those gills on the bottom. See how we've done that? Now we'll take the some other sparkle body. This is green. Same thing. Put a little bit of that on our needle. This is kind of the artsy craftsy part that most of us really get off on. And we're going to lay this on with our top wing. Okay. That looks pretty crude right now. You see it's kind of lumpy and everything. But, you know, what we'll do here is sort of magic. Pull this off. We're going to set this on a toothpick like we did the other one. And this time, we're going to take our toothpick and just stick it in a piece of styrofoam. Okay, you give that a couple hours. And this is what we'll end up with. You need a See how that little red gill comes flaring through there and you get this nice sparkly body continuation of your overwing, that green color in there. Paint some eyeballs on it. It's a really fun deal. Uh, you can get uh, very artistic with this and again, it's a fun way to do it. I think you'll really enjoy it guys and it makes some very effective flies. I sure hope you've enjoyed this video that we've put together about tying tube flies on your Norvice. They're fun, they're easy, very interesting and they really work. Now let's go fishing.